to answer that question, I would say just keep doing what you're doing for another two to three weeks and then look back at the averages, look back at the data and say, okay, how am I feeling? Am I feeling good? Do I want to continue with this? Maybe you didn't find, you know, your actual maintenance and maybe you have been in a deficit, um, but, but then you know, you kind of know, okay, if this is the amount of calories um, that I'm consuming and amount of protein, um, then I want to continue on with this and realize too that as you continue with your fat loss phase, right, if that if that's your goal, things will potentially and, and will likely plateau. Um, and this is a whole kind of other area that we can talk about, but this is part of that metabolic adaptation that I talked about uh, in that article. Um, and the biggest thing there, again, biggest thing, <laughs> I keep saying biggest thing. Um, one of the biggest things there is that as you, you know, the starting calories that you're consuming at the start of a fat loss phase, those are likely going to need to decrease the longer you go into that fat loss phase. So if you're, you know, you set your fat loss phase up to be, you know, 16 weeks long, for example, the amount that you're consuming at week three is probably going to have to come down if you're, you know, once you get to say week 10 or 11. Um, and that is part of that metabolic adaptation that's occurring because you're becoming a smaller version of yourself as you're losing the body fat. So that means that the amount of calories that you're consuming is going to need to also decrease more as you continue to lose. I'm not saying that it needs to be like dramatically like from I don't know if you're consuming 1600 calories and losing half a pound a week, for example, I'm not saying that you have to go all the way down to like 1200 calories. Maybe it's you drop by five to 10%, right? Um, and that's what I do recommend. If you recognize that you have a stall, especially for those who are coming to the end of a fat loss phase, maybe they have a few weeks left, for example. Um, if you're like, all right, things have kind of slowed down, it might mean that you need to adjust down about 5%. So whatever your calories are, take 5 to 10% of that and adjust down, see how it goes for a week. Um, if things have picked back up, that means that you have, you know, gotten back into that deficit range that we want. Um, so yeah, lots of kind of moving pieces there, but hopefully that gave you kind of an idea of um, just for, because I know some people are just starting off. Some people are coming to the end of a fat loss phase. Um, some people aren't even going into a fat loss phase. Maybe they're just looking to, you know, body, uh, body recomp at or around maintenance, which are things that we can talk about as well. Um, but hopefully that gives you kind of a little bit of a um, understanding of, of what's happening. And again, that article will really kind of break down what is occurring. And especially as you end that fat loss phase, the super important things that you need to be paying attention to. A lot of mistakes that I've made in the past for myself and a lot of clients have made too. We don't want that to happen. We don't want all your hard work that you've been putting in the last few months to just go out the window um, because you know, you're not educated on that. And so that's my goal is to educate you as much as possible and help you to understand the things that are actually happening, both from a physiological standpoint and a psychological standpoint.